up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Money. This is a Chucky B production. Cut or Manny, however you guys know me. But today we have an early pair for you guys. <laughs> Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. Um, I was able to get early access. Uh, not me, but a couple friends of me. A couple friends of mine got early access. And I actually bought the shoes from them. They kind of taxed me, but it's alright. They're the homies. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, they, they give me good prices for them. Um, they're early pair, so I did play it pay a good price but either way it's a Jordan 1 never be afraid to invest in a Jordan 1 um, whatever color way it is we've learned our lesson whatever color it will go up eventually over time even the worst ones but yeah so I got an early pair for you guys a size 11 and a half that I'll be going over right now uh, it's quality it's resale value in my opinion so that's all that matters so oh is it focus Ugh. I don't know if it's focused, but yeah, and real quick, I do have some legend blues. Give me a second. Alright, so I do got a couple pairs. Size 11, size 11, size 12, two size 12, size 4, size size 6Y, and I think that's it. But I do have a couple pairs. I might do a video on them. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys want to see a video. But I might do a video on them. Because it is a legend blue and it is a good colorway. But right now they're not doing that well. They're around like 220, 230, so. Uh, is it a good investment? Maybe I don't know. It is a legend blue. It's other legend blue is like at 400. It's a high top So might do a video on them. Let me know if you guys want to see the video on the comments below Also real quick. I do want to announce a series that I want to do. It's called $50 in a dream It's about a game called Rubit that you play online. It's pretty much gambling. It's called crash mostly what I'm gonna play you Just put in money and you got to make sure it goes up and you take your money out you double Whatever you bet, you know. Um, I do want to try that out. I see Steve will do it. Play a lot. The Nug Boys, if you guys are familiar, familiar with them, they play them a lot. Play that game a lot. I want to do it as a serious $50 in a dream. Maybe give away my profits of what I win at the end. Maybe. That would be pretty fun for you guys to uh, watch the series, support it. It can be a one episode series or it can go up for five, ten episodes, whatever, until I lose my money. $50 in a dream. That's what it's going to be called. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I think it would be pretty cool for everybody that supports me. But here is the shoe. Got your Jordan 1 box, size 11 and a half. Like I said, they're not doing too good, but it's a Jordan 1, you can't be scared. And here is the shoe. Little early pairs, a couple days early. It's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. So um, here is the shoe. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. I like using the one without the bag, just in case it falls, you never know. But here is the first look at the shoe. Uh, not bad quality uh, the suede right here is really nice it feels really good when you touch it when you move your hand around it pretty soft pretty buttery uh, not bad of a colorway pretty good colorway uh, quick story the Jordan 1 uh, shadow the 2018 version was actually the first shoe I ever went for on the sneakers app I didn't know what I was doing I just knew it was gonna be there and I went for it obviously took a nail that's when I got into reselling I believe so it's pretty cool to have one again but obviously with resale but yeah so here it is suede right here the gray part is really buttery especially along the heel right here like whatever this is the ankle support I guess you could say really soft around those areas around the toes right here really soft the only bad thing is that the quality on the black leather is not as buttery you could say it kind of reminds me of those uh, Jordan ones uh, all-star ones that released last year and only in chicago the the 85s i think they were called how that they have that like stiff leather or that's what it looks like on camera i haven't seen one in person so i can't really say but that's kind of what they look like like super stiff that's kind of the vibe that it gives me just super stiff and not really buttery but overall not a bad shoe i mean the colors uh shadow black and gray goes with everything so it's a really good silhouette and colorway but um, yeah, so the leather, not as good on the black part, leather part, but the suede right here, really buttery. So I guess that makes up for it. You got your tongue, gray, smell test. <sighs> Can't go bad with that. But um, bottoms, not bad. Shoes, not bad at all. It's just, I think the black leather could be a little bit better around the toe box. You guys can see, it just looks like I don't know, it's just weird. It's like plain. Just doesn't look buttery at all. But um yeah, pretty dope shoe overall. Uh not bad. So now let's get into the resale value of this, because this is what we all want. You know, wanna know. Um this is my opinion only, so if you guys 
don't agree with me, that's fine. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you're right, maybe I'm wrong. Right now, the shoe is not doing that well. It's like not well at all. They're doing horrible. Like when I say horrible, they're doing horrible. So uh, size 11 and a half is going for lowest ass 265. Ugh. And the other size 10 that I have, because I have two, is going for two, 263 right now before they release after the early access so this is my prediction people on saturday are gonna take l's on sneakers at foot sites what's new everybody takes l's on saturdays especially me but um after that i think the prices will go up to 300 340 350 good good sizes um why because since it's an early access i feel like people are like okay whatever i still got a chance on saturday i'm not gonna pay 265 why not I can pay 180, 190 on on Saturday on sneakers app, foot sides, reservations, whatever you have, wherever you get your shoes. So I have a feeling that after Saturday is when these are gonna shoot up a little bit more. Um, this kind of reminds me of the short Jordan One Shattered Backport 3.0s when they came out. They were doing horrible. Now you can't find them anywhere underneath 400, 500. So this is what I'm thinking of. As soon as Saturday comes, these are probably gonna go up a little bit. Uh, 300, 340 drop again once people get their pairs and then probably go up again to 350 360 they're gonna be stable or steady around 300 that's my opinion I'm hoping to move these around 320 that's gonna be my aim for these uh, so hopefully I can move them around for 320 if you guys are interested in these size 11 and a half and a size 10 uh, make sure you guys check out my Instagram at money cuts it'll be around here and you guys can check it out and these will be for sale I can ship whenever you want if you are payment ready but yeah, this is my opinion. And personally also, I feel like the bigger sizes will do better. Anything from size 10 to like a 15, whatever the biggest is. I feel like those will be doing better than the base sizes. Maybe even like eight and a half, eight and a half and nine, or eight, eight and a half through 10, even then. But any base sizes, I feel like they won't move as well. Cause I feel like girls, I don't feel like girls would want to wear this colorway. Um, I feel like they'd rather wear something else like a Royal, a, obsidian uh, jordan 4 like the unc colors the what is it called the those new ones that came out that look the same the baby blue jordan ones the uncs whatever and then the other ones i had a pair i forgot but um yeah i feel like they'd rather get other colorways than this but that is just my opinion on the resale value once again if you guys are feeling it go for it once again it is a jordan one like i said in the beginning you can't you're not losing money with the jordan one it's always going to be above retail. Um, there's going to be, yeah, your one pair that's under retail. But for the most part, uh, a good colorway like this, don't be scared to get them all. If you can buy 10 pairs, get them. If you can get two pairs, go for two pairs, okay? Um, it's a Jordan 1. You're not going to lose money. Good colorway. But I would focus on bigger colorways because I just personally think this is more of a, a man, uh, big sizes uh, shoe. I, that's my opinion. But... That is my opinion on the resale value of it. Also, my quality, the quality on this shoe. I give you guys my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I will be doing some little uh, B-roll on it. Uh, I'll try if I can. But I'll be doing some B-roll on them. And hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Once again, make sure you guys like this video. If you guys do want to see my, if you guys do want to see me do a series of fifty dollars in a dream, let me know and I'll start working on it. See how I can make it work, and then maybe we can give away some of the profits or maybe all the profits that we make from that uh video or like my profits from the game but yeah that is gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys subscribe and you guys like this video for this little early review i got you guys if you guys want to see a video on the shadows i mean the, the legend blues let me know and i'll do one little investment video if it's worth it or not just my opinion but besides that hope you guys have a great day make sure you guys like and subscribe and peace